High traders market gapping up today, 1.4%. It's a big gap up. And Boeing looks like it has a very, very nice reversal point here over 135. I'm looking to go long. But first, let's take a look at the market. When the market's gapping up, it's usually under some kind of a pressure. But then usually it moves back to the highs. So I'm getting ready to go long Boeing here. 4,000 shares. I'm long now. I'm expecting it uh, to continue higher because I'm expecting the market, the S&P 500, also to move higher after it moved down just a little bit. So Boeing's doing well here. And I'm also interested in uh, going long win because it's the same idea. Win is up 3%. The market uh, should be moving higher from here. About to go long win. 4,000 shares now. I'm long. I just hope the market's going to continue moving higher because again, when the market starts with a gap up and comes down, a big gap up, it usually does not continue lower. It should kind of stop here and move higher. So I'm long win, I'm long Boeing. Both of them are looking good right now. Hoku is under a lot of pressure. I've been watching it for the past uh, few minutes and uh, it started with a gap down. It's down 3% today and uh, it looks to me like uh, it has a very nice reversal point over here. And I would like to short it. I'm going to short 4,000 shares as it comes down now. Well, I'm hoping to see Roku under the laws. Roku came nicely under the laws. I'm up $4,000 over one point. At any sign of a pullback, I'm going to cover 3,600 shares. I'm watching the sellers. It's coming down good. Now they're moving up. Now they're moving up a bit. Taking my partial. Okay, first sign of a pullback in Roku. That was a very nice trade. It did come down. It's under a lot of pressure and I expect it to continue coming down even more than this. Boeing's doing great. I'm up over one point, over $4,000 in profits. And I'm going to take my profit at any sign of a pullback. I'm looking at the buyers here. If they're going to come down a bit, like 10 or 20 cents, I'm going to sell. Now they're coming to 20. Under 20, I sell. If the buyers will come down under 20 now, I'm selling. Okay, a first sign of a pullback in Boeing. And I've got my partial. That was a beautiful trade. But the market's not going anywhere. Well, wind's not doing good. Uh, wind's going sideways. There's no reason to hold on to a stock that is just going sideways. If it's going to come down under 85, watch the buyers here. I'm going to move out of this trade. There's no reason to hold to a stock that is not going your way. 85.01 under selling out. Well, I've got a beautiful winner in Boeing, but I just paid everything in win. Win's coming down. Oh, look at this crash now. Look at it comes down. Oh, well, I did really move out on time. Look at <laughs> Oh goodness, that could have looked really, really bad for me. Well, moved out of win. The market's not going anywhere and that's a bit of a concern. I had a winner in Boeing and a loser in win. I want to go long SPG. I don't trust the market, but uh, SPG is up over 8%. The market, again, when the market starts with a big gap up, it should come down and possibly go back to the high. So I'm still thinking there's a chance that the market will go higher. I'm going to take SPG if it gets close to the highs, which is 62.25. Sellers at 25, going long. I'm long 4,000 shares and we're over the highs. You need to expect a new high, buy before. Market's going sideways. I don't really trust the market. And it um, seems to me like SPG is not doing much. I mean, it did pop up. It was very close to my target. But I should be reducing my size. I'm up $900. There's no reason to hold on to a stock that is not going my way. It's coming down. I'm selling 2,000 shares now. I reduced my size because I don't trust the market. And um, I don't trust SPG, SPG to continue higher. The market could go for a new low. I thought the market should pull back up. I was wrong. And I'm a little bit concerned about uh, SPG. Look at the Nasdaq here. That's, that's my main concern. You see, Nasdaq just move down to a new low and very strong. Usually we only look at the S&P to determine what we're doing. But when the Nasdaq is crashing down this way and it does move down very strong now, the S&P is very, very likely to follow. And that's what I'm worried about. Since the market's now coming down, 
I'm going to short MRNA. Look at the daily first. Daily says it's very, very extended. It should pull back. I'm about to short MRNA. It's trending low very, very clearly. I'm short 4,000 shares. And now, I've, and now I see that the market, instead of moving higher than I thought it should, is really just coming down. There's the S&P here. You can see that um, it's getting close to the lows. And uh, mRNA is doing good and I'm about to short beyond two because it seems to me like the S&P is about to break down under the lows real soon. So beyond looks great for short here. I'm short 4,000 shares in beyond, expecting it to continue down with the market now because I do have the market help now. Short beyond. As you can see here, SPG is doing very, very bad. My uh, remaining 2,000 shares are down $1,900, but I do not move out on spike. This was a big spike here. I, I did not expect to hold it that long, but I'm not moving out before the spike before I, before the stock moves higher a bit. I'm not expecting it to move all the way back to the highs. I'm just managing my loss here. This is no this is no risk management. This is really loss management. I'm down $1,400 and I'm going to let it move up just a bit to the point where I think it's not going to continue and then I'm going to move out. Okay, so you'll see my, my loss is, is a bit less now, $1,200, getting ready to close it at any sign of a pullback, $1,100. Can it go higher? I'm not sure. Out. Well, that is, this is really loss management, not really uh, risk management. It came down with a spike. You expect it to pull back up and then you just close the trade. There's no reason to wait for it to come back up. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. MRNA did just amazingly well. As you can see, I'm over three grand in profit here. And it's coming down. It was really helped by the market. I'm about to take my partial, took my partial, a bit less than three grand, I believe. So we are getting helped by the market. As you can see, the market just touched a new low. So mRNA did uh, very well. And uh, we've got uh, Beyond now, which just came down and I'm covering here. It was a small profit in Beyond because the market is a bit extended to the downside and I'm expecting a small pullback. So I took, I took this very small profit in Beyond, better to be safe. Well, as you can see, the S&P did continue lower and uh, quite a bit. That's a big drop here. It does not usually happen. And at the same time, I'm watching Boeing here. And Boeing just crashed down. And you can see that the volume is rather high. So this is very likely to be intraday news. And when we have intraday news, it's one of the safest way to trade because you just wait for a pullback and then you short it. I'm going to short it under 130.50. Let's wait now. I'm short 4,000 shares. So the way to trade intraday breakdowns and apparently just had an, an uh, there was an announcement, uh, something FAA fine, something like that. You can see the volume is growing and just crashed down. That's intraday news for sure. I just shorted it after it pulled back up and I'm about to add to my short now because I like it. It's getting back to the lows. I was probably right. I'm going to short another 4,000 shares here. Now, 8,000. The exit should be under the lows and we've got a new low. We've got a new low. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, Boeing. Come on, Boeing. $5,000, $6,000 and going. Go on, Boeing took my partial. Wow, that was quick, that was nice. Again, the idea is very simple. Intraday news, you don't move in as it spikes down. You just wait for the pullback, you wait for a reversal, quite a, a very simple one minute reversal, and then you move in. That was a great trade in Boeing. And here's my PL traders. As you can see, I have two losers. One of them is SPG, which I'm very happy with because I reduced my size. And that's why I've got a relatively small loser. I've got a bigger loser in win. Just remember what happened there. So I've, you got to have a stop point. You got to have a stop loss. And uh, I moved out at the right point in win. And uh, BA, two trades, one long, one short. The second one was great trading it on news. I've, on news, I've got four winners, um, two losers. 
over $8,000 in closed trades, over $500 in open trades, so just over $9,000 for a very, very nice uh, green day and so far a green week. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders Free Trading Challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.